Ali, Sanad of Hadith of Ummah, is going to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa through various Sahaba. A few famous of them is Abdullah ibn Masood, Ubay ibn Kaab, Osman ibn Affan, and Muaz ibn Jabal Rizwanullah alayhi wa so Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told him, Ya Muaz, Inna al-mu'mina radha al-haqqi asir. That mu'min is tied to haqq. Or he is imprisoned with haqq. Or he is confined to haqq. So it means that for a moment that is must to know the limits. And when he comes to know that these are the limits of Haq, he must confine himself to that. He may not violate and transgress the boundaries and the limits. That's what the Hadith means. And he said, O Mu'az, in the Mu'min, la yaskunu raw'uhu wa la ya'manu izutirabah Hatta yukhallifa jisra jahannama wara azahri. That the heart of a moment will never get into tranquil. It will never be satisfied. Wala yamanu is tiraba. He will be shaking. He will not be able to control and to hold himself from that shaking means he will be having fear constantly and continuously. Hatta yukhallifa jisra jahannama wara azhari. That fear will be going on and he will be passing through <coughs> until the moment he will pass over the jisr and the bridge of jahannam towards jannah. So now that fear, it means that he must confine himself to the limits of haq and truth but still he is bound to have the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imam Shafi Ramatullahi, when he was his last moment and the ulama, they were visiting him. So they asked him, How do you feel? So Imam Shafi Ramatullahi, he said, Asbahtu min al dunya rahila. I'm very much sure I am departing from this world. I am going to be standing in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mufarikun li I am leaving my friends here. Fala adri. Awa zahibun ila jannah. Am uwaridun finnar. But I don't know that I will be going to Jannah or I will be thrown in the hellfire. So it means that the fear of such like pious people, even Sayyidina Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala, a sahabi says, at night I came to the masjid. I saw someone is reciting Quran in his prayer with his melodious voice. But it was dark, I couldn't recognize that who is that? So I said to a wall, instead of who having my own prayer of night, I said, this is better to listen to this man. What a melodious voice he is reciting with the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, when he recited this ayah of Quran, إِنَّ اللَّهَ اشْتَرَى مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ أَنفُسَهُمْ وَأَمْوَالَهُمْ بِأَنَّ لَهُمُ الْجَنَّةِ that Allah has purchased, Allah has bought from women and from the believers their lives, their selves, and their properties. And he will give them Jannah. So he started crying and crying and crying until he was exhausted with that cry. And at the same time, Bilal came and Bilal gave Azan, he completed his prayer. So I came close to that now I am not going to interrupt him because he has finished his prayer. For isn't Anabi Abi Bakr? So I said that was Abu Bakr. So I got astonished. 
because I know that this ayah was applied to Abu Bakr by Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. When again and again he used to purchase for thousands of dirham or dinar at that time the slaves who accepted Islam and he was liberating them and setting them free, like Abdullah ibn Abi Rabah, رضي الله تعالى عنه, Amr ibn Fuhera, رضي الله تعالى عنه, big big names. They were slaves when they accepted Islam. So Abu Bakr رضي الله تعالى عنه, he bought them and he set them free. So Allah سبحانه وتعالى said. That Allah has purchased from Mu'min their, their sales and their properties, He will give them Jannah. So Rasulullah said that's Abu Bakr. Means a clear cut example of this ayah is Abu Bakr. So that's why He said, Wa'an, you regarding this ayah, you cried the whole night, Wa'qad unzilat fika. And I know that that ayah is revealed in your favor. Are regarding your practice. Fakal, ma arafani bihasa. I'm well aware of that. <clears throat> but this is a business. This is a business with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If on the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will find some fakeness in my business and in my commodity. So then what can I do at that time? Because that is a time. Where, is no, where there is no sale and no purchase. Because that is not the Amal. Mm -hmm. So anyhow, Sayyidina Mu'az ibn Jabal, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told him, Hatta yukhallifa jisra jahannam awla azahari until he leaves the jisra and the bridge of jahannam behind himself. So behind me that he crossed over. When he crossed over, so now he is entering to jahannam. And then he said, that ya Mu'az, in al mu'min, قَدْ حَبَسَهُ الْقُرَانَ عَنْ كَسِيرٍ مِنْ شَهَوَاتِهِ That believer, a believer, Allah, so, the Holy Quran has controlled him. Or the Holy Quran is holding him from a lot of his evil whims and desires. وَمِنْ أَنْ يَقَعَ فِيهِ هُوَا بِإِذْنِ رَبِّهِ This is Quran who is stopping him and holding him to fall down in his shahawat, in his whims and his desires. Quran with the lead. So this holy Quran is his guide. One is the lead, which is proof and evidence. One is the lead. So that is guide. Quran So this holy Quran is his guide. As you know, when you are going to have a tour of a specific place, so then the guide, he is telling you here, stop here. Look at your right, look at your left, straight. That is this, this, this. That what Quran is telling us in our life. So Prophet said for Quran Dilil. That holy Quran is his Dilil and guide. Wal khawfu mahajjatu. And the strong base of the person is the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Was salatu kahfu. Protection place. Kahf is actually kaf, or ghar, fal salatu kahf. Protection place for a person is the prayer. If, for example, bombing is going on, people are rushing inside the caves to get protected. So if somebody wants to get protected, he should take his protection to the prayer. Fal salatu kahf. And he said, was sawmu junnatu. And the fasting, that is his shield. If something is coming on someone in the battlefield, so he's holding it with the shield. So was so mujunnatu. Fasting is his shield. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, was sadaqatu fiqahu. If somebody gets stuck and he is trying to release himself, so Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, charity is the release. Charity is the release. For example, Somebody <clears throat> committed a sin which is bothering him. He sees nightmares at night time because his dhameer and conscience is pinching him that why you did it. Now to get rid of that situation, he should do the charities. He will be getting released from that clutches. Prophet says, was sadaqatu? Why that is happening to you? Because wrongdoing will cause you the curse of Allah. 
Rabbi will cause you the punishment of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the mere and conscience, we say that that is actually the intelligence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah has put it inside every human. And that's why that intelligence or that sheriff or that policeman, just name it whatever you are naming. He is pinching when he is alone. They don't do that. Why you did it? You are not ashamed of what you have done. So he is getting bothered by it at night time, and he said, I cannot sleep. I have done like this. I have done like this. So Rasulullah said, and that is actually a philosophy of kafara. That when we violate something, so the kafara is mentioned there, that now the damir and the conscience will be bothering you. So just pay the kafara to get rid of this situation. Otherwise you will lose your brain, you will become crazy. Was sadaqatul tikahu. And Rasulullah says, was sidqu amiru. Truth is his leader. Truth is his Amir. He must obey the truth. He must listen to the truth. What the truth is, he should Wabara Azarika, Rabbuhu Bimir Sad. And Rasulullah says, on a checkpoint, after all these things, on a checkpoint, his Lord is waiting for you. Is so, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Rabbaka, la bil mirsad. Mirsad is such a point where from no can, no any flight you can get rid of. That is the radar station. Marsada rasadga. That is the radar. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used the word in the Rabbaka Rabbil Mirsad. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sitting at the radar point. So nobody can go away or can get rid of. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the feet to follow the book of Allah. And the sunnah of the Prophet. والصلاة والسلام على رسول محمد وعلى صحبه المعين لو ربنا أحسن عقبتنا في الأمور كلها وأجدنا من خزي وعذاب الآخرة والله سبحانه وتعالى بلاس ذي سيادة والله سبحانه وتعالى بلاس ذي سفان والله سبحانه وتعالى بلاس آل ذي سكيرز والله سبحانه وتعالى بلاس على فص والله سبحانه وتعالى تيك أوي ذي صعاين آفا يا حل المشكلات ويا كافي المهمات ويا رافع العاهات والآفات والأمراض ويا رافع العاهات والآفات والأمراض ويا رافع العاهات والآفات والأمراض ويا غيث المستغيثين أغثنا يا غيث المستغيثين أغثنا يا غيث المستغيثين أغثنا وصلى الله تعالى على خير